So the claim I'm refuting is that the 2001 Lakers would beat the 2017 Warriors in a seven game series. And this advocate's three main claims were that the Lakers, uh, the players performed at a higher level than the Warriors players, uh, the team with the most accomplished coach would win, and the Lakers have the more accomplished coach, and the Lakers faced more difficult competition while winning in an equally dominant fashion. So uh, this, my first response to his first claim is that actually Golden State had the better performing players. Um, this advocate gave a few player statistics, but I went ahead and took the five, the five players from each team that had the most play time and the best players, and I uh, totaled up their points per game and averaged it. So for Golden State, we have Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Andre Iguodala. For the Lakers, we have Shaq, Kobe Bryant, Derek Fisher, Rick Fox, and Robert Ory. And uh, the average for the Golden State was actually 17.96 average points per game and for the Lakers it was 15.66 average points per game. So based off this alone we can assume that Golden State would score more points. And then I did the same thing with their assists and Golden State had an average of 4.92 and the Lakers had 3.5 average assists for the whole team um, per game. For his second uh, claim he said that the team with the most with the better coach would win and so the Lakers coach is Phil Jackson, and at the time, he had three years with the Lakers, and he had won two championships with them. For Golden State, their coach is Steve Kerr, and at the time, in 2017, he had four years with them, and they had also won two championships. But uh, this is not a strong enough argument to assume that the Golden State Warriors would win, because, I mean, yeah, the coach is calling the plays and stuff, but the players are the ones that are playing the game, so in a sense, it just comes down to the players and their performance at the end of the day, which is a stronger argument. Um, and I can I can kind of do like a little bit, a little bit of assuming too. If I take the three point percentage, uh, the Golden State Warriors are known for being a three point uh, shooting team, and their average three points per game was a uh, a thirty eight point five percent shooting percentage from the three point line. And the Lakers, it's only a fifteen point five. So yeah, the Lakers may have Shaq in the post and Kobe doing the fadeaways and stuff, but uh, I mean, if Golden State is hitting all these threes, then they're gonna be up, like, there's a higher chance that they're gonna be up at the end of the game. And for his third claim, he said that the Lakers face stronger competition. And uh, so the Lakers, the playoff opponents they played was the Trailblazers, the Spurs, the Kings, and the Nets in the, in the 2001 series. And for Golden State in 2017, they played the Trailblazers, the Jazz, the Spurs, and then the, and then the Cavaliers, and they won. But uh, I'm gonna argue that Golden State performs better under pressure. And the reason I argue this is because I looked at the point difference between their playoff games and these seven series games, which is what the advocate is, is uh, claiming that the Lakers would win in the seven game series. So um, <clears throat> the Golden State, the final game scores, it was 113 to 91. 132 to 113, 118 to 113, and 129 to 120. And the average point difference in their wins for those games was 13.75 uh, points on average that they won by. Same thing, I did the same thing for the Lakers and they only won by 9.25 points on average. So uh, this kind of shows that the, under the, the pressure of a seven game series, which is what the advocate is claiming, that the Golden State has more confidence <coughs> And they're scoring higher in these games, so they're playing, they're performing better and stuff. So again, it could kind of lead to the Golden State Warriors beating the Lakers in a seven-game series. And uh, and yeah, those are my three main arguments. Three main claims. Right, it gets a little complicated with all the numbers comparisons, and uh, I think that uh, you sometimes want to simplify those claims, but uh, in the long run, I thought that you did a good job developing good information on these points, making uh, slightly different comparisons than the advocate made to reach your conclusion, sometimes talking about the same data, but sometimes talking about it from a different perspective and one that favored Golden State. I thought that you did a good job on those things. You tried to minimize the importance of the coach, which I think is okay. Uh, there's probably a way to do that with a 
little bit more authority here, suggesting that coaches make a difference in some games, but not in most games, for example, and that the coaching decisions that have to be made in a pressure situation were least likely to come up, for example, in a, in a competition between Golden State and Los Angeles in these circumstances. I think that might have been, make, been a way to make that argument a little bit more effective. Uh, like I said, I like the... Uh, point numbers that you have the problem is that it's it's a lot of numbers that are running together after a period of time and i do think that you're presenting them accurately it's just hard to keep track of them through the presentation but i thought you did a good job finding counter numbers on that all right i gotta stop this because